The first we have is her... I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is obviously another unboxing video and today we are adding another SH Figure Arts action figure to my collection, Sailor Uranus. Um, this is it. New box, you can obviously tell what it is because it says SH Figure Arts and the figure. Um, I've never received a package like this before. It usually just comes in the box it's shipped in and then I open that and we get on with it. But this time, there's we have to go one step further apparently. Um, there's, oh, there's a warning right here that says this case is used solely for the purpose of protecting product during shipment. Case may not be exchanged due to damage or discoloration. Thank you for your understanding. So I guess it's just um, one step more towards making sure that the box and the figure aren't damaged during shipment. There. So let's get on with it. There we go. Slides right out. Oh. I can see how that works. Instead, before, um, they would just come in wrapped in um, bubble wrap or with those large packs of air that just kind of keep it from jostling around too much. They didn't really do anything despite supposedly having a purpose, but um, I can kind of see where this comes in. I, I like it. Here we are. Just like all of the others, comes with cutout plastic cutout so you can see the figure. Figure posed. We have one pose on the side, another one. One of the faces on top. Warning, choking hazard. And then just like the others, shows you how many faces, um, and, oh, uh, okay. And then comes with an extra Usagi face, so that way you can switch them out. Um, because remember she dressed as a male in the manga, so Usagi had a huge crush on her. Um, when they initially met, so that's pretty cool. I like that. I don't know that I'm ever gonna switch it out, but I I like that they included that option. That's cute. So let's open her up and side the option and do a side. We have the face. And there's super glue tape. tell you one thing, um, even the cheapest Japanese tape is amazing. Like the Daiso tape that I buy is so much better than the pricey scotch stuff. And then you have your face, just like the others. Um, oh, this one, it's a little bit different. They're, I feel like their packaging is becoming a little bit more sophisticated every time. Last time with uh, Sailor Saturn, instead of the hands being loose, they created kind of this little Lego stack, so they all stay together. And this time, if you notice, um, instead of including the um, extension parts of the stand in the bag, they've basically put it underneath where all of the hands and the faces go. So I like that. I had a little bit of trouble with one of them, that it wasn't uh, staying up properly. So I don't know if that was because it was packed in here or not, but I do like that they're starting to 
be a little bit more considerate as far as the actual figure it goes with packaging. So let's open, open up. Oh, and here's where the, the waist clip is. So they're starting to make it definitely more of an all-in-one piece. Wait, there's a tape. This time there's no tape on the actual, on the actual figure case, which is nice because there was way too much before. My husband's playing Bloodborne, so if you hear him, just ignore him. Her legs seem uneven. Oh, and her feet. Definitely a little stiff. I'm looking, I don't know if this is because of how she's supposed to stand, but I don't know if you can see that. Her feet are uneven. So I'm trying to see if that's part of, yep, yeah, that's part of her hip. Her hip, besides her actual hip being on a ball joint, there's a hinge on the inside. I'm trying to push it up. I really hope I don't break this. Oh, there we go. Yep, okay. That's a lot better now. Hmm. I wonder if that's what they were talking about with um, Sailor Saturn. They said you could pop her legs a little bit longer. But I never checked. So, yep. That's a nice little aspect. Feels like, hmm. I do notice this where the other ones, they don't, they have, oh I guess they do. I never noticed that before that um, the skirt is overlapped. I don't know if you can see that, but the skirt is overlapped so uh, for whatever reason. Hmm, right. Just noticed that on her after six, five other figures. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so let's take a look at her accessories. Okay, so the first thing we have here is her sword. And that obviously comes with... Let's take this out. Um, so the hands, let me keep all of this. comes with one hand that holds it. So she has a lot more hands than some of the other ones. Most of them have like four pairs of hands or five including the one that is clipped in but she has four pair, five pairs and I can't count, six pairs and then three separate and she has crossed arms. So I think this is the most hand, more hands than any of them. Wow, you can definitely switch up her positions a little bit more so than the others. So yeah, these are it. Now let's get her in the pose that I want. Most of them, almost all my other ones, I have them in this pose, whichever one is on the back right here. But I really like her action shot. So, I don't know. I really should change them up though. I think for continuity purposes, I am going to stick with her bad bitch pose. This is the face she has. All right, let's see. Yep, I don't need to change her face. Wait, let me make sure. These two faces are really similar. Kind of. Alright. Oh, okay, yeah. 
her apathy, her apathy face, which I think I'm gonna, we're gonna call this one the apathy face, is really similar to her kind of stern gaze face, which is this one. You can't see that. I don't know why I'm holding it up clearly. Oh, there we go. Success. Okay, so we'll pop that on. I love that you have to take their hair off, their bangs, to get it. Makes them look so funky. There we go. And then she's got the crossed arms. So let's see how this works. Okay, so pops right out of the shoulder area. Oh, be careful though, because there really isn't anything to hold this piece on. So you could easily lose that. But the arm comes off. So there's little notches. Like, I don't know if you can see that. There's little notches in here and then inside the shoulder pads. So that way you line it up properly. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Okay, yay, there we go. It's not too hard. Just like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the waist clip around her. It's always so difficult to try and get them in the exact pose because it's not just posing their body, you have to have the arm in the correct position in order to get their body even in the correct position. So this is always the hard part for me. Maybe I need to pop her leg longer. Yep. That's kind of cool. I thought that was just a rumor, but I guess you really can you really can make their legs longer. The extension really does exist. Okay, so I think this is the best um, I'm going to get. The others I kind of have not well, yeah. I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead. I got it. So, okay, there we go. Kind of, I think. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with that. I really, really like this one. I don't know if it's because of the difference in arms. Um, excuse me. The others do kind of have their little action poses and then hers is so nonchalant that I really like this. She's definitely tall, which is great because that's sticking to the character design. Um, mm, I would say, I want to say she's a, probably the same length as Sailor Jupiter, but I'll have to compare them. Other than that, it looks really, really good. Um, just like the others, the paint job is really good. Uh, the boot skirt and the sailor collar are all um, like a metallic navy and then the yellow is more of a matte and the green, is that green? Yeah, that's green, is also metallic. So they've got her earrings in there. A lot of attention to detail on these, like even her ear has cartilage, which is really cool. So I will take an updated photo of what my Sailor Moon shelf looks like. I'm With her, I will have run out of space the way I currently have it designed. So um, I'm gonna have to figure some things out. I'm, I might start putting some of the other pieces on risers, acrylic risers if I can find any. Um, just so that way I can fit them all. But I will include a photo right here of what it looks like right now so you kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. 
um, and of course later on as I update it. But ta-da, all done. Uh, put it right there, and then the rest of the pieces you can just. I don't know what I'm gonna. Well, I guess I'll just put her, leave her arms in there like that until whenever I decide to change up the pieces. But here's the. Uh, this is a face. Let's see if we can do a. If it even bothers. There we go. <laughs> so you can see what uh, Sailor Moon face I'm talking about. I do think that's pretty funny that they include it with um, Sailor Uranus. Um, the next one obviously is Sailor Neptune and I have her on the way so I should be doing an unboxing video with her in like the next week or two I think. Um, and then after that um, there's Tuxedo Mask which releases in May I believe. Um, and then Chibiusa in June, and Super Sailor Moon in July. Still no sign of Sailor Pluto, which is I, odd to me that they would go through all of the Inner Senshi and the Outer Senshi and release Tuxedo Mask and Chibiusa before they ever do Sailor Pluto. So, um, oh, and then Super Sailor Moon. Yeah, Super Sailor Moon before Sailor Pluto. So uh, at this point, I really haven't found anything that says they're going to. I haven't even found any. Um, they did, they just had a big figure uh, convention either last month or the month before where they released a lot of prototypes of the figures that they're going to be coming out with later this year and I think the beginning of next year and I, I didn't see anything for Sailor Pluto, so at this point, I don't know. I would really like them to, um, but I'm still happy that they're coming out with Tuxedo Mask and Chibiusa. So, I can't be too unhappy about that. 